Welcome. This video covers the operator's menu for the Komatsu Dash 11 excavator. With these easy to follow steps, the operator can program the monitor and set up the machine to his individual preference. Be sure to review the other videos in this series for additional information on the monitor operation. Now let's look at the operator's menu. Let's get started. This video covers the operator's menu for the Komatsu Dash 11 excavator. With these easy to follow steps, the operator can program the monitor and set up the machine to his individual preferences. Be sure to review the other videos in this series for additional information on the monitor operation. Now let's look at the operator's menu. Press the F6 function switch to open the menu for the operator's mode. The first tab of the menu is Energy Saving Guidance. The menu item for Operations Records is highlighted in yellow, so press the F6 function switch to open that menu. Operation records with data on working hours and fuel consumption help the operator judge the machine productivity and fuel economy. We're back at the first tab. Scroll down to the menu item for Eco Guidance Records and press the F6 function switch. The screen for Eco Guidance Records displays the number of times that advisories were displayed on the monitor. Going back to the first tab, scroll down to the menu item for Average Fuel Consumption Record. Press F6. The average fuel consumption will be displayed in a graph for the last 12 hours. Push the F2 switch and the display will transition to the fuel consumption for the last seven days. Push the F1 switch if you want to clear the data and start over, graphing new fuel consumption data. Back at the first tab, scroll down to the menu item for configurations and press F6. The operator can select the timer to record data every day. The operator can also choose to split the day and begin timing fuel consumption with new data. He might want to do this if he was moving to a different job site or engaging in a different application during the day. Select a split time record and return to Operations Records. Notice the date and time of your split time record. Stop the record after you have the data you want. And then start a new split time record. Return to the home screen and notice the different display of the average fuel consumption gauge. Back at the configuration tab, scroll down to the menu item for Eco Gauge Display and press F6. The Eco Gauge Display can be turned on or off. Turn it off and the gauge will no longer be displayed. Back at the configuration tab, scroll down to the menu item for Eco Gauge Display Fuel Target Value and press F6. The operator can decide what target value he is most interested in. Back at the Configuration tab, scroll down to the menu item for Eco Guidance Display On and press F6. The operator can turn off the friendly advice messages if he chooses to. Back at the Configuration tab, scroll down to the menu item for Eco Guidance Display at Key Off and press F6. The operator can also turn off the friendly advice messages that appear after the engine stops. We are back at the operator's menu. Scroll horizontally to the machine setting tab. The first menu item is economy mode adjustment. Press F6 to select this item. There are four different settings for consuming less fuel. The higher the number, the greater your fuel savings. Scroll down to the menu item for Fan Reverse Mode and press F6. Please be aware, the Fan Reverse Mode is only available on the PC490. The Fan Reverse Mode is intended for blowing dirt out of the radiator compartment. Lower the lock lever and run the engine at an idle, then press the F6 function switch. It will take about 15 seconds to complete the Fan Reverse process. Engine RPM can then be increased. The control lever should not be operated while the fan is reversing. Reduce the engine RPM before stopping the fan reverse process. 
scroll down to the menu item for Auto Idle Stop Timer Setting and press F6. The engine will shut down automatically after idling for the time selected. This feature can also be turned off. Electrical systems continue running on battery power, so be aware and avoid discharged batteries. Scroll horizontally to the After Treatment Devices Regeneration tab. A different video will be dedicated to this tab, so we will skip this tab for now. Continue scrolling horizontally to the next tab, SCR Information. We will skip this tab also and discuss it in another video. Scroll horizontally to the next tab, Maintenance. The specified maintenance intervals are listed, along with the time remaining until the maintenance items should be completed. A maintenance lamp will appear on the main monitor screen, when the remaining time is within 30 minutes. The operator then schedules the maintenance and programs the monitor to indicate that a scheduled maintenance has been completed. Press and hold the F6 function switch. The reset screen appears. Press the F6 switch again and you are asked again if you want to reset the maintenance item. Press the F6 switch again to reset the maintenance item. We are back at the operator's menu. Scroll horizontally to the monitor setting tab. Press the F6 switch to select the menu item for screen adjustment. This is where the operator adjusts the brightness of the monitor screen. Scroll horizontally to brighten or dim the screen. Notice that this is for daytime use. For nighttime use, press the lamp switch to the moon position. Press F6 to complete your selection. Scroll down to the menu item for screen adjustment for the camera and press the F6 switch. This is where the operator adjusts the brightness for the rear view camera. Scroll down to the menu item for clock adjustment and press F6. The first menu item is GPS synchronization, which uses the Comtrax modem for determining time and date. Notice the menu items for time and date are grayed out. Press the F6 switch and turn off the GPS synchronization. With synchronization off, the time and calendar are no longer grayed out. Scroll down to the menu item for calendar and press F6. The calendar can be manually adjusted to the proper date. Scroll down to the menu item for time and press F6. The time can be manually adjusted. Scroll down to the menu item for 12 hour 24 hour mode and press F6. The operator can select the 12 hour AM PM method of a typical American clock or he can select the 24 hour military method of time. Scroll down to the menu item for daylight saving time. The operator can turn this feature on or off. Back at the monitor setting tab, scroll down to the menu item for language and press F6. The operator can select between 27 different languages for the monitor to display. Back at the monitor setting tab, scroll down to the menu item for operator ID and press F6. The operator can input his individual ID if the operator ID feature has been enabled on the machine. We're back at the operator's menu. Scroll horizontally to the message menu. Your contract administrator can send the machine a message. A green colored envelope appears on the monitor screen when this occurs. This concludes the Monitor Operators Menu video for Command 2 PC-170 through PC-490 LC-11 excavators. For additional information, please reference the Operation and Maintenance Manual for your specific machine. Thank you for choosing Command 2 products.